no, I can definitively say the president's not a liar. And I think it's uh, frankly insulting that that question would be asked. Yeah, but that was Sarah Huckabee Sanders actually lying. After the hearing, Trump surrogates were in overdrive uh, in their efforts to dismiss Comey's testimony. So what does she do? She comes out and she says it. Oh, my goodness. President is not a liar. Sarah, really? Really? Would you like to hear some lies? He started the whole issue in terms of drove it, the birther issue. OK, saying that President Barack Obama was not born in the United States. That's a lie. He said his father left him one million dollars to start his real estate empire. Trump actually got $40 million. Another lie. He says his casinos in Atlantic, Atlantic City never went bankrupt. Another lie. Trump said thousands of Muslims celebrated in the streets of New Jersey after a 9-11 terrorist attack. Another lie. He accused Senator Ted Cruz's father of working with Lee Harvey Oswald to assassinate President John F. Kennedy. Another lie. Trump said he won more electoral college votes than any other president since Ronald, President Ronald Reagan. Another flat out lie. Donald Trump said the murder rate in the United States is the highest in 45 years. Another damn lie. Donald Trump said he would have won the popular vote if it weren't for three to five million people voting illegally. No evidence whatsoever of that. Another lie. Donald Trump lied about the number of people at his inauguration. He falsely accused President Barack Obama of wiretapping him. And not only that, Donald Trump also, y'all, after watching Fox and Friends, said President Barack Obama released more than 100 detainees from Guantanamo Bay. That was such a lie because more than 100 were released by President George W. Bush. We have a president who lies, 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 lies. So James Comey, when he called the president a liar, he wasn't lying. Also, House Speaker Paul Ryan, listen to this nonsense that he said after Comey's testimony. The president's new at this. He's new to government. And so he probably wasn't steeped in the long running protocols that established the relationships between DOJ, FBI and White Houses. He's just new to this. Huh? Really? Speak. Okay, I'm confused. Speaker Paul Ryan? Really? Is that what you just said? The president is new to this. New to this. This is the same guy during the campaign who criticized Hillary Clinton for various investigations, accused President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton of not talking to fellow officials. He consistently talked about it over and over and over again. What the is Paul Ryan saying? Okay, you want more lies? Mark Kasowitz, Trump's attorney, they sent him out after Comey's testimony to speak to the news media. He says Comey lied, but this guy's so dumb, he couldn't even spell president correctly in his own press release. Mr. Comey's testimony also makes clear that the president never sought to impede the investigation into attempted Russian interference in the 2016 election. And in fact, according to Mr. Comey, the president told Mr. Comey, quote, it would be good to find out, close quote, in that investigation if there was, quote, some satellite associates of his who did something wrong, close quote. And he, President Trump, did not exclude anyone from that statement. All right, this guy is so clueless. And yesterday in his own statement, uh, he even said that uh, Comey uh, leaked uh, this, uh, this memo a day after Trump's tweet, a uh, day after the meet, actually took place about three or four days later. He couldn't even get basic facts right. Let's go to our panel. Barbara Arnwine, founding president of Transformative Justice Coalition, George Jefferson Nury, founding CEO in the Public Eye Communications, Pastor Shannon Wright, third vice chairman of the Maryland Republican Party. Shannon, Republicans sending all kind of folks out, uh, challenging uh, Comey's testimony, uh, saying he was wrong, saying he's lying, saying it's one-sided. Uh, now you got the president saying he was totally vindicated. You know, in my line of work in pastoral care, there's a saying, sit still and let God. 
when you take a wrong turn, you got to stop, find out where you're going and how you're supposed to get there unless you're going to just continue to take more wrong turns. Mm -hmm. I think there is some truth to what Paul Ryan said in that he's, quote, new at this. He, I think there is a big difference between what is the perception of being a candidate, the perception of being president, and the actuality in between. But again, when folks made the decision to vote for President Trump, they're getting what he campaigned on. Okay, but Shannon, here's my problem. Uh, the dude with the codes to our nuclear arsenal mm -hmm. is new at this. Yes. I don't want to hear that crap. I don't want to hear, I am not accepting, oh, he's new at this. This is the man who is the president of the United States, leader of the free world. This is not an internship. You're absolutely you know, there, right. I'm not, I'm not debating absolutely. that. I'm just saying this is the reality of where we are. So now it's how do we get from where we are to where we're looking at the things that the man was elected to handle, like education, so that folks can actually but, but, compete but, but, on the But when, will, well, when will leading Republicans stop making up excuses for this man like, oh, he's learning on the job? No, he, he said things during the campaign that were very specific about Hillary Clinton, about President Bill Clinton, about President Barack Obama and others, and now all of a sudden, uh, I didn't know. I think well, in a lot of cases, he really did not pay attention to folks that advised him, look, this is protocol, this is how this goes, this is what you do. So now we've got someone who's in there who literally is saying, okay, well, which way do I go? Roland, something happened. Something horrific has happened between Donald Trump and Russia, and he knows it, and he's afraid it's going to come out. This is not behavior because he's new in the job. A lot of people are new at a lot of things, and they don't fumble like this. Something happened. Mueller, we hope, will find it out. And every step he's taking is trying to cover this up. There's no way you clear the room and say you want to talk to the FBI director, but you have absolutely no private agenda. No and, way. And, and, and Barbara, it's, uh, this is also, what I hear James Comey say, and the president came to me and said, you know what, you like your job? Right. Is, is, you know, Quid pro quo. You want to keep your job? A lot of people. You know, you, 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 yes. you, you really should drop this. Well, I mean, I don't care who you are. I don't care. I don't care what job you're on. If your boss calls you in and sets it up by saying, as Comey said, wait a minute, how, how you keep telling me do I like my job when you already told me three times I'm keeping my job? And it's kind of like, he really ought to leave this alone. Anybody knows exactly what that means. That, that is your boss telling you, look, I need you to drop this if you want to keep your job. Well, not only that, let's be clear. This president ran on a platform where he repeatedly talked about draining the swamp, et cetera. But one of his key talking points at campaign rally after campaign rally was about Loretta Lynch and her meeting. Remember, Loretta Lynch was the attorney general and her meeting with Bill Clinton on the tarmac. And he talked about how inappropriate... Which was a huge screw-up. Mm -hmm. Which he... Right. Yeah. And it he was. talked about yeah. how inappropriate that was. Mm -hmm. So he knew about the AG's role and their independence and the fact that they shouldn't be, in, be you know, talking with other people. So when he did what he did, he knew precisely what he was doing. Right. This claim of ignorance is an after thought, an after excuse to try to vindicate this man. Listen, everybody. Look at the article of impeachment against Nixon. Look at Article 1, Number 4. What was it? It was the impeding and F the FBI in their investigation. That was what he was accused of, was interfering and impeding the FBI and trying to get a specific result in the investigation and to protect various people <laughs> who were part of the alleged investigation. So I want people to be very clear that we are looking at high crimes and misdemeanors. We are looking at the obstruction of justice. Shannon, again, what, 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 what bothers me is when you're not seeing the leadership. Look, I, I get Republicans want to stay in power, mm -hmm. but when you have a president who is consistently lying, when you have his eight, first of all, when they, all of a sudden they're saying, oh no, we're not going to answer any questions, it's his outside lawyer who's going to take all questions, you know, we're not answering, answering anything. When they can't even answer the simple question, is there a taping system, there is no way in the world 
anybody can trust what this administration says. Well, I think we've talked about trust here, here before. Um, and that, that is a big problem right now. When you can't answer a question as simple as, is there a taping system? It's like answering, did you eat breakfast this morning? You, you know if you did or not. I, I get that. What I don't know, because I'm Joe Citizen at home, is, is there a reason to not let it be publicly known? if there is or is not definitively a taping system. At this point, were I a part of that administration, I'd be afraid to say just about anything. Final comment, Joy. I would say that there is no taping system. That was just Donald Trump one morning having... Threatening. Little, threatening, threatening. 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 And having one of his little five-year-old um, uh, fits. Exactly. I think the concern here is there's probably no evidence out of Comey's testimony except the president lies. But I think that this fuels the rest of the investigation and it keeps it going. No, I no, believe Comey, Comey also, not only that, Comey said the reason he leaked it so is because have in order to prosecutor. create a special prosecutor. Right, exactly. And so he understood where this thing was going. So thank God he did leak it because that's exactly what led to Mueller right. being appointed. Which makes Comey a real patriot. Because he knew what was going on. He sensed it while he was in the White House, and he wanted Got to it. fuel this to go forward. And here's a piece. Had he not taken those notes, and had he not kept that particular memo, yes. who knows if we, we even know that it exists. And that memo is what led to them bringing him before the Senate Intelligence Committee. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. We will keep focus on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.